Today I'm going to show you how to um, watch the AVX videos on your uh, well, Internet Explorer non 64 bit version. Alright, first you have to get a program called MPC Home Cinema X64. That's Media Player Classic Home Cinema X64. You can find it on SourceForge. And I'll have the link for you. Copy. Notebook. Totally delete. That's the wrong one. Bear with me. Paste. That's for my notes. Okay. So, I'm already here. I've already clicked on it. And we're going to save it. Downloads have completed. Download. All right. That's it right there. Double click on it. Run. Yes. English is our language. Next. Hopefully this will install right over the old version that I had. Position everything. For all users, install, 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 install. Yeesh. Alright, let me check, make sure this did this right. Make sure there's not two of these somewhere. New Power Classic Home Cinema 1.5.2.3. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Alright, now. Get this thing to work. We don't need the nightly. That's what I use all the time because it's awesome. Box pop ups better than Internet Explorer 9. Okay, but anyway, you need to do, 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 play with all the settings. First thing, go to options, view options. All right. Tweaks, miscellaneous. Default style. Yeah. That's not it. All right, here's what you want to do. You want to set all the associations. If you're doing this, I have Windows 7 64-bit running. So you have to do the modify thing. Click. All right, now you can modify this. Just click everything you want to be associated with this program. I'm just, I'm just clicking them all. Because it's a good program. It runs in 64 bit. Unlike any of the others. Yes, this is a media player, and you can um, use it just to watch movies that you've saved on your computer, too. That's not what we're doing because that's just too easy. everything I think apply and okay and it goes right back to here all right now you go down to web interface all right you need to click on this listen on port and then change it to 7000 okay these are already set enable but you do need to click serve pages from the web root just just click on serve pages from okay once you got that, you should be ready to go. Alright, now this doesn't actually need to be up. 
but you'd be finished if you wanted to just watch a movie a D IVX movie or whatever alright so let's go I don't know where my browser thing went oh yeah it's gone okay so um Nick what am I doing alright we're launching Internet Explorer 9 64 bit you can see right here about Internet Explorer there it is blah 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 64 bit ver edition okay now we're gonna go to my favorite movie site which is movie2k.to which has all these wonderful movies let's look at Conan Conan the Barbarian and we'll watch it from DIVX stage okay click on play it should work hope it works See, at the bottom it will say this website wants to install the following add on DIVX R Web Player from DIVX Incorporated. You need to click X out of that and do not install that. And just click play. Alright, then your Media Player Classic comes up. That's what this is. It takes a few minutes for it to buffer. I mean, literally. But we want this to be a complete video to show you that I didn't stop it and change it and do something else weird. There it goes right there. That's the video. Yay. Works. We're watching Conan the IVX on 64 bit edition of Windows Internet Explorer 9. Pretty cool, huh? I thought so. Alright, the only problem with this is you cannot watch it in full screen for some reason. I don't know why. I don't care. It works. Yay. Thanks. Bye.